coming at you from my porch. Say hi. 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 And today I'm going to show you how to use Google Meetup. Um, I'm doing this from home. I'm currently on a Mac computer, but this would work whether you're using a PC or a home computer, okay. desktop, laptop, it shouldn't matter. Um, or even a Google, uh, what's that called? The little Chromebooks. Um, anything should work just fine. And all you do is you need just Google Chrome or some browser. Safari would work just fine. Um, and you just need to go up to the search bar on Google and type in meet.google.com. If you mistype it, it'll take you to a Google search, um, and you'll just have to choose the first one. Um, but really, you just need meet.google.com and press enter. It'll take you to a page that looks very similar to this. Um, they usually change the picture in the background, so it may not be exactly like it. You'll notice on the top right-hand corner, it says the word sign in. So in order to sign in to Yakima Schools and, and actually join meetings using your school account, um, you need to press sign in. And from here, you will sign in using your Google account. Um, that's the YSD71. So it's your last name. Bear with me as I type my last name. Um, dot first name at ysd7.org. When you have that logged in, you press next. It'll ask for your password. If you can remember that after a week. And then you'll notice it'll change the screen just a little bit. Um, you'll have a few more options, including um, you can save your password or not. Um, sure, I'll save my password. Um, go away. Um, you'll notice my first, oh, uh, I don't want to do that right now. So you'll notice that my first initial M is up here. Yours will be a little bit different. You have a couple options on the screen. Um, there's some settings you can look at later if you'd like to. Um, you'll notice that when I pressed it, my computer's wanting me to um, use my my microphone and camera from from the actual computer and I'm going to actually allow that so if you don't see the screen now you will see it in a little bit when we try to start a meeting so I'm gonna actually allow it if you press block um, you will not be able to visibly be present in the meeting um, you'll still be able to hear but you won't be able to use your microphone so you can't speak and you can't use your camera so I'm gonna press allow and what that will do is that'll change the setting you'll notice that when I speak um, this little microphone box is moving a little bit um, so anyway, that's kind of irrelevant at this point. Um, I'm going to press done. So that's your settings option, um, which just lets you see the audio and visual settings. Um, so if I press join or start a meeting, you'll notice I have none scheduled today. I can actually click on the plus button. And this is where if you have a specific code or number to join a special meeting, um, you can type it in here. If you don't have a specific code and you're just trying to create a meeting, whether it's between you and another staff member and you just want to make sure you're on the same time, um, you can leave it blank or you can come up with a funny name like, you know, meeting today, Whoa, which is not funny, but it boats. is just a meeting today. What? Um, if you're joining somebody else's meeting, you will not be using or creating a new one. Just keep that in mind. So I'll press continue. And then what I can do here is you'll notice it's going to pop up with my face here. Uh, camera starting. It will come up with both. Uh, yes, it can see some of that. Um, those are notifications. So it'll just pop up and say that somebody is present in the um, in the meeting, usually I allow the notifications for things that I want and don't allow meeting or notifications for websites that I don't need them to tell me about things. So um, this one they will because they'll notify me if more people show up in the meeting. So uh, meeting today, so I can join the specific meeting that I set up um, or I can actually dial in using phones. Um, I'm not going to get too much into it, but if you would like to join a meeting um, or create a meeting, um, you can enter in a speci special phone number, um, which somebody you'll be called, and then they can answer the phone and join your meeting. Um, they can also choose the dial-in feature, which means um, on your phone or somebody else's phone, they can dial this specific number, and it will change every time. Um, and then enter this PIN so that you don't have um, people joining meetings that shouldn't be. Um, but what you'll do is uh, I'm going to join now. And you'll notice, once again, this is from setting up the meeting. Um, it gives me some options on how to join the meeting and get other people. But what I can do is I can add people here, which is the exact same one, but at ysd7.org. And that's the one that we're going to be using. Want to say bye? Bye.